I just don't get this. To me, I mean, like, I was referred to The Honest Truth twice now. So the first time was with, um, well, actually it was three times. So one time it was, like, with some people who were all right with him, like, um, I think Uppity Unicorn mentioned something on him and a few other people who are okay with him. And then I, um, saw his channel being brought up when it came to a couple of the BWE types like Nyla Vibes, Taz, Cynthia G. Everybody knows I'm not subscribed to those channels, but I do sometimes hear what they have to say there. And I remember Divested Zealot saying a bit about him. Then this time, um, I saw Crystal... I mean, Chris Logic, sorry. <laughs> Chris Logic, um, who was basically mentioning it. You know, I've done two videos on The Honest Truth. I've never had any problem with him in either video. To me, my perspective, what I thought he was at the time, was that I thought he was, like, divested, basically. And so that's why I was kind of like, the first video I was actually partial to him. And then in the second video, I was um, not partial to him. I was kind of just like neutral, I guess. Now this time it's kind of like, you know, if you are truly S-Y-S-B-M, you shouldn't be upset by... Cynthia G, you know, that's how I perceived him. I thought he was divested. I see now he's not, but I thought that he was divested. Um, and basically, he was talking about Cynthia G and Cohen Nanik. My thing is with this whole situation is I kind of feel like I have bashed Cohen Nanik over and over and over again, okay? I have bashed Cynthia G. I honestly actually still am needing to do a video on Cohen Nanik. I just have been busy doing other things. And honestly, this goes into the whole thing where I am kind of like divested from black YouTube a bit. Because on my TikTok platform, which is a much bigger platform... I don't really, it's not really, my audience isn't black people, one. It's generally white people, and um, many of the things I talk about, if I talk about, like, relationship stuff, it's the same thing as on here, but it's way more focused into the white male sphere and the white woman sphere than the black male sphere or black woman sphere. And, you know, for me... Many of the time, the ch like, the channels that I've watched, I've said this before, are usually um, mainly by white women or white men. It's not usually black men or black women that I watch. So that's why, for me, it's kind of like I haven't really been talking that much about black YouTube. But I want to do it this time. Um, I kind of feel like, you know, I... I have uh, gone after Cynthia G. I don't like Cynthia G and Cohen Anik. But one thing I find annoying... But... Sorry, my dog was trying to be a bad dog. Anyway. um, But anyway, I don't like Cohen Nanik or Cynthia G. I think that they... I think a Cohen Nanik is honestly a cut. Okay, that's how I see <laughs> And I said that before. Um, and he's a weak white man. You know, I said this before, that he perceives himself in a feminine manner. And it's interesting how he sees himself. And this is the type of white man that Cynthia G would like because, see, Cynthia G doesn't see white men for their masculinity isn't attracted to white men. Um, she has no desire for white men. She only sees white men as something she can use. 
for attention from black men, you know, and that's my issue with the honest truth. I mean, you are crying over Cynthia G. And what she has to say, as if what she has to say matters. If you want to be into the whole idea of saving yourself from black women, then you don't give a heck what black women think, right? So why the heck are you focused on? What Cynthia G has to say, she's inconsequential. She's a disgruntled mammy who is undesirable in the sense of her basically saying this is the only way she can get attention from black men is by acting out like this. Why are you rewarding her by giving her attention? Giving her attention feeds her. Giving her attention gives her more following. Giving her attention basically, you know, feeds her whole platform. So I just am like, from my perspective, I'm saying in the interest of black men, why do black men like this focus on what Cynthia G has to say? You know, if she's really inconsequential and she doesn't matter, then she shouldn't matter. If you don't care what black women think, you shouldn't give a fuck what black women think. You see, for me, from my perspective, I don't give a fuck what a black man thinks, okay? I don't care what they what they want, what their interest is, what's going on over there when it comes to relationships. I don't care. I've said this over and over again. I just don't care. What I care about is your success and you're not making black people look badly. But as far as who you sleep with, who you get married to, who you have relationships with, as long as you're not making black people look badly, that's all I care about. You know, I don't care who you want. As long as you're happy, and as long as the other person is happy and it's not leaving a bad image for black people. You know, I care because I am black and I think that black people as a collective have an image, basically. So when you disparage black men, you basically disparage yourself. When you disparage black women, you disparage black, I mean, you disparage black men, you know. You disparage yourself if you're black. You know, because you compare yourself to someone who is a white man. It's the same thing as when people do it to black women, right? So if you are saying black women are inferior or anything of that nature. While being a black man. You're basically saying you're inferior to white men. This is why I don't do it to black men. I do not say black men are inferior to white men. You know, I might say sexual purposes for myself. I am not interested in them. And I will list off all the reasons why I'm not. But I will not say they are inferior people. You know, if I say I'm, that they are inferior, I'm saying I'm inferior. You know, and people like this are not smart enough to understand that, you know, but back to topic, I'm just saying, you know, you guys having an issue with what someone wants or what someone wants in black men or whatever, it's like me having an issue with black men saying they want this or that or that from a black woman. Like, I don't care because I'm not that black woman who even cares what they want. I'm not there trying to figure out what they want because I'm not interested. So I'm not the black woman they're going to look to because I'm just going to walk away, you know, kind of thing. That's what you need to be. You know, you don't need to be focused on what black women are saying about black men and how they want this from black men or that or that. If you don't want the black woman, then you don't need to be anything that woman wants anyway. Do you want Cynthia G? If you don't want Cynthia G, she doesn't matter. If you want black woman, but you don't want Cynthia G, then it doesn't matter what the lady wants. Because she is undesired by you. So why cry about it? You know what I mean? That's just all I have to say there. You know? 
I'm still subscribed. I'm, I guess I subscribed a long time ago. I didn't even know I subscribed. I think I may have said, mentioned um, the honest truth in the past um, on other um, on the list of videos that list of subscribers that I'm subscribed to or channels I'm subscribed to or whatever. Um, I may have mentioned him. I think, but yeah. Um, anyway, my point is. Um, I just think, honestly, you know, you shouldn't really care about what Cynthia G thinks. And, you know, Cohen, like I said, Cohen is a weak white man. Of course, she likes men like that. She said that she used to use weak white men like that to basically scheme them out of money. See, she, like I said, she doesn't like white men. She just wants your attention. So, I mean, calling her divested is really silly because it's like... The people who are divested, like myself, are just looking like we're not affected by you talking about Cynthia G. Because what do we care? I mean, it's, she's not divested anyway, you know. So it's kind of like, what's your point? Yeah, it's pretty fucked up that she's really trying to get your attention that way, isn't it? But it doesn't really have anything to do with us. So that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Bye.